topic C um, is rounding to the nearest 10 in 100 using a vertical number line. The advantage of using a vertical number line is it makes it easier to see the, some of the relationships between the numbers. We started by rounding to the nearest 10, and the reason this came after the unit on measurement is that we are generally using um, units of measure while we round. So, for example, let's say that what we wanted to find out was 23 grams rounded to the nearest 10. Um, the first thing we need to do is plot that on the vertical number line. 23 is between the numbers 20 and 30. So those are our endpoints on this number line. We also need to plot a midpoint or a halfway point. The halfway point between 20 and 30 is 25. And we know that's true because there is the same distance between 20 and 25 as there is between 25 and 30. Um, yeah, it, it is 5 away from 20 and 5 away from 30. Um, you, people noticed in class that the halfway numbers always uh, have a 5 involved. They don't necessarily end in a 5. We'll talk about that later when we talk about hundreds. But, so where is 23 on this number line that runs from 20 to 30? Um, we have a couple of options about how to do this. One option is we could actually put in the 1 increments, like that. And now I can see that 23 is 20, 1, 2, 3, right here. Um, I could also just estimate where that is. and. Uh, but I'll show you that in the next one. So 23 is below 25. Here's 25, here's 23. Anytime the number is below the halfway point, we round down to the nearest 10. So 23 grams is about 20 grams. That's our estimate. Um, If it was instead of 23 grams, what if we wanted to find out about 29 grams? Uh, here I'm going to show you what I mean by just estimating where it would be. Um, I could put in all those increments for each one, or I could just take my best guess that 29 would be about here. And it's easy to see that 29 is past the halfway point. So we round up. So 29 grams is about, that's what that symbol means, 30 grams. Okay, there's one more case, which is what to do if it's at exactly the halfway point. What if the number that we're asking about is 25 grams? 25 grams is the halfway point. It is exactly the same distance between 20 and 30. It is not closer to one or the other. Um, if we look back at these other ones, 23 is only 3 away from 20, but it's 7 away from 30. 29 is 1 away from 30 and 9 from 20. So it's easy to see why we round up or down if we're greater or less than the halfway point. Um, but what if it's right here? What if it is the halfway point? It's exactly the same distance. Well, we have a rule. And the rule is that you round up. Um, if you are at the halfway point, you round up. 25 is not closer to 30, uh, but it's just we have to have a rule and so that we know what to do in that circumstance, and it is round up. So 25 grams is about 30 grams if we're rounding to the nearest 10. Now what about this? We now have a three-digit number, 125. So if we have 125 grams, um, what is that rounded to the nearest 10? Now this is an area where I have noticed sometimes students make mistakes. So watch this carefully. When I draw my vertical number line, I'm still in this case rounding to the nearest 10. So what tens is 125 between? Um, it is between 120 
or 12 tens, because let's think about this for a second. Let's decompose this number. Um, maybe this will help it be more clear. 125 is 100 plus 2 tens, or 20, plus 5 ones, or 5. We call that expanded form. Um, and what we're doing in this problem is we're rounding to the nearest 10. So the tens that this is between are 20 and 30, but it's not 20 and 30, it's 120 and 130. All right, now that we have that, that's the step where I think uh, you are most likely to make a mistake. Uh, so we've got that set up, and what's the halfway point? Well, it's 125. And what is our rule? If we, we notice that our number is the same as the halfway point, what is our rule? Well, we round up in that case. So this is our number, and it's the halfway point, so we round up. So 125 grams is about 130 grams. Okay, so it's about this point that people are like, yes, I've got it, rounding's not too bad. Uh, and then we introduce something that makes everyone say, what? What? We don't always round to the nearest 10. We can round to the nearest in any place value. Um, so we can also round to the nearest 100. Um, so what I'm going to do here is let's take that same one that we just talked about, 125 grams. And in this time, this time, instead of rounding to the nearest 10, we're going to round to the nearest 100. Well, first thing we need to do is we need to set up a vertical number line. And last time when we were rounding to the nearest 10, our um, endpoints were 120 and 130, and that was great. Now we're thinking about what hundreds is 125 between. Well, it's between 100 and 200. What is the halfway point between these two numbers? Well, we're talking about what number is the same distance from 100 as it is from 200. And that number is 150, because it is 50 away from 100 and 50 away from 200. And now do you notice what I was talking about before, that there's always a 5 involved? Um, it's not that it ends in a 5. It's not 155 or 105. But that there's always a 5 involved somewhere with a halfway point when we're dealing uh, with these rounding issues. So, um, yeah, so it's not to be confused that there's always five halfway between any two numbers, but when we're dealing with these endpoint problems, um, and there's always going to be a five involved somewhere. But anyways, uh, so 125 grams, where is that? Now, if I try to plot in all 50 ticks between 100 and 150, it's going to take me a very long time, and I'm not going to do a good job. So I'm going to estimate. Um, I know that 25 is halfway between 100 and 150, so I think 125 should be about halfway between 100 and 150. Um, so there we go, 125. Now, if I round this to the nearest 100, the first thing I have to do is I have to do the same process. Is this less than or greater than the halfway point? The halfway point is 150, and I see that it is less than the halfway point, so I round down. And if we think about it, it makes sense. It is closer to 100 than 200. It is 25 away from 100 and 75 away from 200. So 125 grams is about 100 grams. Now, another thing you can do is round to the nearest 50, and we talked about that a lot, and the same principles apply. It's just, which one are you closer to? Where is your halfway point? Which one is closer? But we're not going to cover that in detail right now. Um, the really important ones that you need to understand are rounding to the nearest 10 and rounding to the nearest 100. Um, and in our n next couple of topics, we will talk about um, some of the purposes for rounding and estimating.